Now, although you're um, still to be very well known here in Korea, I heard that uh, you're actually more famous in uh, the United States and Europe. You actually performed with a lot of uh, big musicians as well, haven't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I am not really famous, <laughs> but I have played with many famous people, mm -hmm. such as um, after my first debut performance with Pavarotti, I have been invited to Italy to play along with Andrea Bocelli, mm -hmm. Ricky Martin, Eric Clapton, The Queen, Deep Purple, <laughs> and all, all these great artists. I feel very lucky. And in London, where I had to play again with Pavarotti, mm -hmm. Zucchero, Eric Clapton, The Queen. It's always the same group of people in Cranberries. And mm -hmm. I have been very lucky, I have to admit. Wow. Yeah. Now, tell me what it was like to have your debut with Pavarotti. Oh, that was just so amazing. Mm -hmm. It was such an amazing moment. I cannot explain in words, actually. But when I was walking up the stairs mm -hmm. to go to the stage, I felt so nervous. Mm -hmm. And I've never played played an electric violin before and it was oh, my first time. It was your first time? Yeah, three days before the performance mm -hmm. I had been given an electronic violin and I had to play and I was really nervous and 50,000 people in the Olympic Stadium I didn't know what to do and some people suggested me to drink you know the rice wine. Alcohol. <laughs> yeah alcohol and some people even told me to meditate pray and everything but as soon as I got on the stage, I felt I've never felt like that before. Mm -hmm. I felt like I felt like being hugged, and mm. I felt home sweet home, and I felt so good. Mm. Yeah, I felt very good. When was that? What I year believe was that? that was in year 2000, mm -hmm. May 31st, I believe. Mm -hmm. And since then, you've been playing the electric. Yes, since violin. then I've been playing electric mm -hmm. violin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I can only imagine how nervous you must have been of having to play the electric violin for the first time. Yes. Uh, this being your debut performance with Pavarotti. Yes. <laughs> it was very nerve. I was very nervous, mm -hmm. and some somebody told me since you've never had an experience with electric violin, just move your body like you've never moved your body with classical violin. Mm. And I tried, and I just couldn't move because I was so nervous, but. Luckily enough, I got very mm, lucky and it was fine. How do you calm your nerves down when you are feeling that nervous? Some, some, I take pills like calcium pills. Aww. They say that it helps. I've tried that and this, but I think the best way is to meditate. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. and not talk to anybody before, a few minutes before the performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and just by listening to you saying how uh, as, soon, as soon as you started performing, you're just calm. Um, I can't help but feel that you're actually a natural born performer no, I'm a, who is I'm meant a, to be on stage. I like being on stage, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't call that natural, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but I like being on stage very much more than anything. Mm. So of all the, the musicians that you've uh, performed with, uh, Who's been your favorite? What's been your most memorable performance? Amongst all these wonderful people, yes. my favorite is Zucchero. Why? Um, because he had this charisma mm -hmm. that I've never seen with all the other people. Mm -hmm. And he's with him, I performed in London Royal Albert Hall, which is one of my favorite halls uh -huh. in the world. And the whole ambience of the hall and the lighting and the people, it was just right time at the right, you know, it was right timing at the right place. Mm -hmm. It was just perfect. I don't know if we can help you relive that moment exactly, but we do have some uh, highlights oh. from that performance, so let's take a look. Okay. 